What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, that girl V, and um, welcome to that. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, that girl V, and welcome back to that girl TV. Okay, I'm gonna do like a little short little footage today, and I'm gonna give you guys a little short background story or whatever the case may be. I should do a room tour, but I'm not gonna do that. That might be coming soon, or whatever the case may be. And where the stuff on my face, I got like this acne thing going on it's like terrible terrible so um i'm doing like a little acne treatment with aloe plant so it's working you know it's doing this little thud for this one. but anyways that's besides the point of this video um what we're gonna be doing today is um we're gonna be doing um unboxing my neighbors down there getting down but anyways we're gonna be doing unboxing okay Gonna do, I just got these in the mail. They finally came in. We're gonna unbox them and I'm gonna tell you what they are and everything. But um, of course, subscribe, like, comment. And um, yeah, this is basically gonna be like a little miniature vlog, but also it's gonna be like a, uh, the shoes that I waited so long to get they're finally here type job. But anyways, um smash that like button. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. and um all I did was just change scenes and set up the camera or whatever the case may be because we about to like this is cold over here what we about to is like unbox these shoes y'all see y'all see these y'all see these fire these my johns right there but anyways um this about to be up there next to me okay let me do a little story time <clears throat> Once upon a time, oh, I was a hoe. Anyways, story time about these shoes. Okay, we're gonna take this all the way back to like ninth grade. So ninth grade for me was like back in 2013. It is. Yeah, 2013. You couldn't go nowhere, like in that school, nowhere in that school without seeing a person with these shoes on. And I was like. They, they fine, but like, I'm tired of seeing people wearing them. Like, it didn't matter what day, like, you at least see about like five to ten people wearing the shoe per day. And I was just like, I'm one of those people who don't like to wear stuff the same time everybody else is wearing them. So, like, when. A part like, tip redact. Uh, what? A part tip redact. Scavern. What are you talking they was doing the same thing with them Air Forces, the Air Force Ones. So, like, I was like, I want a pair, but just like, no, everybody wearing them, everybody got them. So, like, I'm one of those people, like, when the hype dies off of it, I probably go get it if I like it. And now I bring it back, and people like, oh, snap, I remember them Johns, or like, oh, snap, them was the joints right there, or like, they ain't no Johns fire. But, like, everybody, they had them, but they probably don't ever have them. No longer, or they probably don't even like care for them no more because they'll move on to the next fab. That's how I would be. That's how my brain works because I don't like to have what everybody else has. Even if they had it before, I don't like to have it in that moment the same time everybody else has it. So, everybody had these shoes. I was just like, bro, what? So, about like a few years back, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get them. Same time I was looking for the Jordan 11s. I'm looking for the retros. I'm looking for the Concords. I was looking for the Breeds. I still can't. The, my my only problem, the reason why I can't find these shoes, not that it's not the fact that you can't find these shoes nowhere. It's it's the fact that I can't find them in my shoe size. So if anybody got a shoe plug, but um. It's the fact that it, I can't find it in my size. It's hard to find stuff in my size, especially when it's a men's shoe. Like, I guess guys do have small feet 
and then all the eight and a half be gone. Like, I know y'all feet be hurting because I know the shoes be too tight. I know it be because y'all niggas do not wear no eight and a half. Y'all feet are not that small. But, um, this guy stinks. I have a problem, I can't find my shoe size. Same thing with the Kyrie's. I'm still on the hunt for the Kyrie's because. The Kyrie fives, I can find them, but like not the color that I want, and I can't find them in my size. So I'm still on the hunt for those, and when I find them, I'm a cop, just like I did these. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna got my scissors. We're gonna open this up. And this also will be placed on a wall. I have nails on the wall right here. Next to this. It will be placed on the wall. Next to this. Complete the collection. I think I'm going to start a whole... I'm not big. I'm not big Jordan, you know, wear. Because, like, they don't really last because of how they're made. They, they're made, like, really narrow. And this is one of them shoes that are made narrow. Um, so I don't really, I want to say I'm a collector, but when I find a nice shoe, I I did have was the infrareds. Um, would I get this again just to get the infrareds? Yes. But uh, these are fire. These joints are fire, bro. Fire. Um, but I will tell you, I have a. I really wear an eight and a half. These. This is a men's shoe. I wear an eight and a half. Um, I got a nine because. It runs narrow and I have a wide foot. So I need extra space. Yeah, I need extra space. So if I was you, I'd go up a size. But, um. Those John's fire. You can't tell me otherwise. Uh, let's do a long story short. Let's do a long story short, right? So, um, and if you want to know where to get them from, I don't know if they still have them, but I got them from, um, Foot Locker. It is. 
I feel like they never have squat. They never have squat. Um, long story short, um, I made this purchase a couple of days ago. I made it on the 12th. Yeah, the 12th. I made it on May 12th. And something went wrong with purchasing. And so I didn't think I was going to get the shoe. So I went wrong with purchasing with my bank because if I start don't be playing that shit when you make it. <laughs> if anybody has buy star, you should know. You should know how they are. Whenever you like take out big money or you make big purchases and shit, they like think it's fraud or like whatever whatever. So they was tripping. But they sent me a text alert and he was like, What's this you? Whatever, but whatever. And I said, Yeah, this is me. But apparently Foot Locker had canceled it on their end. So I was just like, what the fuck? So when I had got in contact with customer care and I talked to them or whatever, it was like, oh, um, it was canceled due, due to your bank or whatever, whatever. I said, my bank didn't do shit. Five star don't make five star don't do stuff don't like that. So I was like, my I said bank, I said, my bank didn't do it. They said it was on you guys and but then she was like, oh, well, we'll fix it, whatever, whatever. I was just trying to do the reprocessing because it said, it's still saying pending. You know how we said, we would say pending. It was still saying pending, so it wouldn't go through. But it was already deducted, but it was still saying pending. So I was just like, but it's already, you know, in the process. So can you go ahead and reprocess the shoes and send them out? So I didn't get no response. So I'm, I'm assuming she did like this is like a day and a half ago and I got the shoes today and I'm surprised because the the pending statement had disappeared so I don't know if they're gonna charge me but as of now technically I got them shoes for free um, but but I was supposed to have the white air forces with them Cause it was they broke them they broke the packages up it was two packages it was those and then the white air forces and it's supposed to be two pairs of shoes they broke them up and said they would be sending them in two different you know uh, packages or whatever multiple packages but um they never charged me it was it was charging at one point and then it's just like i don't know the next thing you know these shoes arrived on my door i had i guess they had already sent them out but now the order is completed without, but it's technically completed, but then it's not completed. I don't know if they're going to charge me the 90 for the Air Forces. That'd be fine. And then they send the Air Forces out, but I don't know. I'm not going to talk to them. But um, I'm not mad at it, though. No. Not at all. But um, yeah, you've been looking for the shoes like I've been. And you know where to find the Concords? I'll at you. I ain't, I ain't messing with the breeze. I'm not a big fan of red. That's probably why I didn't get the infrareds. Cause you can go to StockX, but then I I I'd be a little wary with StockX. Um, I don't really like red. So then um, if you find those, if anybody know where the Concords are at, you know, hit me up. <laughs> hit me up. But um. That's it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys that and um, just fill you guys in on, you know, what's going on with me. Quarantine, stay safe, wash your hands, eat, drink, gain some weight, work out, lose some weight, you know, get a workout partner, whatever the case may be. Um, yeah. And um, I might have another unboxing surprise for you guys. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment. And make sure you share. If you have friends, share it to your mother, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your grandmother. So thank you guys for subscribing. Love you guys. That nigga, your adrenaline rushing and feel like a bus, but I'm whipping a rave. Got my head to the ceiling, want me in my feelings, only got me feeling the way. I ain't saying I'm addicted, out of river script, just fuck it, cause I don't feel the pain. Let a nigga touch my chain, fuck it, nigga, kill him, fuck it, make it take me away. I got my dogs in this bitch, I know they gon' shoot shit up. And my little brother turned to a drummer, walking my side, now he got the lump. I said that made bag where the gays at, tell my brother.